Hello all, welcome to Binary Programming. In this video, we will solve the second challenge of Apex Testing module of Developer Beginner. The name of the challenge is Test Apex Triggers. So let's move to the challenge. So in this challenge, we are going to create a unit test class for testing the simple Apex Trigger. The name of the trigger should be restrict content by name and the code of the trigger is available to us. It is here. Let's have a look at the code of the trigger, what it does. So here is a trigger. The trigger is made on the contact object on before insert and before update. So before inserting or updating, the trigger checks the last name of the contact, whether it is invalid name or not. If it is invalid name, then it will throw an error. So the, we need to write a test class for this trigger. The test class name should be test trigger contact by name. So let's move to the org and first create the trigger and then the trigger test class so we're going to the developer console and in the developer console first we are going to create the trigger so the new apex trigger the name of the apex trigger is given to us it is restrict contact by name so we'll copy it from here and we'll paste it here and it is available on the contact object so we are going to select the contact object from this list and click on submit so the trigger got created the code and the trigger is given to us so we'll copy it from here and we'll paste it here we're going to save this trigger now what we are going to do is we are going to create a new apex class basically the test class for testing this trigger so the name of the test class is also given to us. It is test restrict content by name. We'll paste it here and click on OK. So this will generate the class for us. Now we're going to annotate this class with the annotation called is test to mark that this is our test class. In this class, we are going to create a method. So with this same annotation called is test. The name of the method should be let's suppose public static void. The name should be let's suppose test contact. In this test contact method, we are going to create a new contact object and insert the contact object here. So contact let's say ct is equals to new contact and ct dot. We are going to test the last name. So the last name should not be invalid name. So we are going to insert the contact with the last name as invalid name. So here it is. We have made the contact and the last name of the contact is invalid name. Now we are going to insert this contact object. So database dot save result. Let's say res is equals to database dot insert. So in this, we are going to pass the contact object which we have created. It is ct, comma, false. So now we have inserted the record into the DB. Now next thing is we are going to check the return statement from this trigger. So let's check system dot assert equals. It expect two parameters, the expected value and the actual value. So what we are expecting? We are expecting that the trigger should return this statement, the last name, the last name and the last name which we are inserting. This is the last name which we are inserting. Invalid name is not allowed for DML. So this statement should be returned from this trigger. This is what we are expecting and the actual should be, it should be returned from this database or sale results parameter which we are passing so here the res dot get errors get errors of let's suppose zero dot get message so this message should be equals to the last name okay. invalid is not allowed for tml so let's run this test class and see whether we have passed this test class or not so the result is available in this test tab and as you can see we have successfully completed the test the test coverage can be seen from here and you can see that we have covered 100 percent 
of the trigger. So let's move to the challenge and see whether we have done it correct or not. So yes, we have completed the challenge and we have got 500 points for this. See you guys in the next video with a new challenge. Thank you.